um it's quarantine day i don't know um it's definitely like week three um today is april 7th and i woke up a little bit ago and i just decided that i really wanted to uh try some new hairstyles with my hair while i can and maybe play around with some makeup while having a chat with you guys so yeah i'm just gonna i slept with my hair in these braids so i'm gonna take these out and fix my hair okay so i'm just gonna take my hair out of these braids first and see how my hair is holding up um i want to see if it created the wave i want if not i'm gonna use my straightener and uh, create these waves i've been seeing online that i want sorry my hair is super long it's kind of hard to see um that's pretty good but i don't think that will hold for very long it'll probably fall like in an hour because although my hair is pretty thick and like holds curl pretty well when i do stuff like this it doesn't really hold that well and i need a haircut so bad but i'm trying not to cut my hair while in quarantine because you know that's not great so i'm just gonna use my straightener and i just use this infinity pearl by conair i've had this for years me and my sister have the same one it's honestly the best cheap straightener i've ever bought in my life it's fantastic um something i want to try is i'm going to do a hairstyle with like bandana with a bandana so i only really need to fix the bottom or the front pieces because this is kind of waves which is fine we are going to try to use this. Sorry, I'm looking in this mirror. I'm seeing a lot of different people do this. And I wanted to see if it worked, so I didn't have to do a normal curl. But I don't think so. <laughs> I'm clearly just doing something wrong, so that's great. Okay, so I wanted to try this hairstyle that you like go back and forth, and it's not working for me. I'm not skilled enough for that, apparently. So I'm gonna try to just do what I wanted to do, which is, excuse me for looking in the mirror down here, taking some front pieces and these two pieces, which I need a haircut so bad because literally all my hair is the same length, like my front pieces should not be the length of my, like, down my ass, but, you know, it's fine. I just, like, never get haircuts. And then I planned to get one April 1st, like it was scheduled for like a month, and then quarantine took over my whole life so here we are i'm using this scarf um instead of a bandana one because it's better although my hair is not curly right now it is better for curly hair which is my normal hair type but it is straightened so we're going to try and flip this over and see if i can do this And then I'm gonna pull some pieces through right here. That's cute, right? All right, we're gonna move on to makeup now. Okay, I'm going to do my edges really quickly as good as I can, um, just cause like, that don't look cute. <laughs> um, I just use this ginormous tub of eco gel um, from Sally's and a toothbrush. I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to do like a springy look because I've been seeing those and they are so cute. Um, I'm also really obsessed still with like the wet eye, the way that looks. 
So I'm just gonna play around basically. I'm gonna start off with my Morphe sponge and I'm gonna go with an, a mixture of my Estee Lauder Double Wear in color 3W1, which is tawny. Um, and this is a little light for me, so I mix it with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation, which is in the color caramel, which is a little dark, but it'll be great in the summer. So these are the two I mix. And what I do basically is just put this on the tip of my finger because I didn't get a pump and now everything's closed. <laughs> Anyways, how are y'all doing? I am struggling um, financially, so that's not great, but you know, one day there will be a time when I won't have to worry about that as much, and hopefully we will be smarter after this, because if you are like me and you are in school um, and you weren't planning for this, like no one was, but like if you don't have savings that much because you kind of just work and go to school and you know don't have time to work like a full-time job obviously I work like 20 hours a week um then you definitely weren't prepared like I thought I was doing good and I had like a month's rent ready and then this gone. you know I thought I was like being good because I was like one month ahead on like one bill <laughs> but not really at all um definitely learning to um save more and honestly i've had many issues like this or many things come up in life where you're like damn i should have saved you know what i mean but this is pretty extreme um it does make me feel a little bit better that not i'm not the only one in this situation like a lot of people are in this situation but it's still very sad and unfortunate um, I also look super hit. We need to get this going. <laughs> so I'm just gonna finish this and like cover up these blemishes because I keep breaking out because life's hard. So next I'm going to take my Benefit, precisely my brow pencil, and do my eyebrows. So that's going to be fun. I definitely can't talk while I do this, so I'll just fast forward this. We'll just keep it moving. And again, I have to look down here at my mirror. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the eyes, now that I'm done with the brows <laughs> and my base. Um, so I'm going to do more of a light pink eye. So I am going to use my Tartlet in Bloom, she's kind of beat. Um, and I'm going to use this over my full eyelid and use that like to blend most of the things, the shadows. Um, annoying as hell, I got this Jeffree Star brush from Morphe. There was a Morphe store when I went to Nashville. And I went there and literally the moment I used it that night, I had a wedding and the moment I used it, it broke. Like this literally just comes off. So great. Love that for me. I was like, cool. <laughs> Only me, dude. So I'm just going to apply this over my full eyelid. And honestly, this isn't the lightest pink, um, but it works for my complexion. So we're going to go with it because again, this is not a tutorial sister. I am just playing around. I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want. That's pretty pink. So I'm just gonna blow it out basically, like 
up high. That way this is a good transition for my other pinks I'm going to implement. I am pissed about this pimple. She's called stress. She's called bills. She's called groceries. Mm -hmm. We don't fuck with her, but she's here to stay from now, so. I've literally been doing face masks like every day and she still won't go away, so that's how you know I'm really stressed. All right, so then I'm going to go in with, I'm gonna use this like really light color and see. And again, I'm just using a Morphe brush. This is a Morphe M441, pretty classic. I love all the people that keep walking by my window and probably staring at me. Hey. So now I'm actually gonna go in with my Tarte blush that's pink and, and it's in Akihote. Maybe. I don't know. And I'm just gonna take the same blending brush and dip right in. Boop. And this is like the closest pink your girl has is in blush. So we're here going to use our resources. Okay? Use your resources, my dudes. At this time, you know, this is all we can do. Oh, we dig, we dig. I'm just putting that in my crease more because it's a little bit darker than the transition shade we used at first and blending that out. Oh, bitch. <laughs> we live. Just going in there. Yeah. And just... Okay, I enjoy this. Enjoy this. Very much. I feel like I'm talking really quietly, which is not good for this vid, but I'm concentrating, okay? We're trying to get a cute look. So, the next thing I'm going to do is go in with my Naked <laughs> 2 by Urban K. Let's see, I need a flat brush. Girl, where you at? Spray this flat brush. And... I'll go into YUK and put that in the center of my lid and let's hope it's not a disaster, okay? This is when I realized that it will be, in fact, a disaster. Um, yeah, I put YDK on my lid and it looks like I just shit glitter. So that's not what I was going for. <laughs> I wanted a wet look that was subtle and cute and dewy and it looks like I'm about to go clubbing. So please appreciate me just spiraling in this next clip and trying to figure out what to do because it dried already. I don't know. I don't think that's it, Chief. That's not it. All right, we do have options here from ColourPop. I think this is gonna be our guy. ColourPop's like Super Shock Shadow and Sailor. Looks like this. So we're gonna try that on the center of my other eyelid and see what we can get. This has got to go. I'm gonna go take care of that and come back. All right, sisters, we have applied some straight up Vaseline to our eyelids to make it look wet, my dudes. And this is for picture purposes only. But you know what? It looks good. So we're gonna um, continue on now with the rest of my face, which is like what I normally do. So I'm gonna go into my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is like the original one. And go in with this little, don't know where this is from. This little tapered brush and go in. I normally would. And honestly, I go over my eyebrows with my bronzer because it makes them a little bit more subdued, not so 
in your face kind of so there's today i did not set my face by the way but if i would have i would have used my laura mercier um translucent powder but i didn't set it because i don't need this to last long i'm not gonna lie so now i'm gonna go in with this i actually really like this stuff this revolution makeup revolutions bacon blot like little um bronzer in deep dark so it's like a darker one and then i'm gonna go in with this little real techniques fluffy brush that is really dirty sorry and bronze starting it very bright sorry and then i'm going to add my favorite blush right now is this and i found it from uh, kathleen white it is the cheapest blush ever it's the blush by essence it's literally just called the blush and it is in the color 20 bespoke can you see that <laughs> anyways it's the perfect color for me which like it looks a little brown but it's like so pretty it looks very natural on me and i live for that so what are these hairs And I always put it on my nose now. I'm really into that. Hmm. Okay. And then I'm going to highlight using this little Real Techniques brush and the Becca highlighter in Opal. So I have this little mini one. Life hack. I usually buy the full size ones and they have broken on me every single time. And one time I just got a mini one. I don't know. I was just running out and was like, this is cheaper or whatever. So I bought this mini one, traveled with it, has not broke. Um, mini ones are for the win. Honestly, you don't need that big of a thing. Like, let's be honest here. But like, every time I get a big one from Becca, it fucking breaks. So that's annoying. Honestly, this is so fun without lashes or anything. I'm just going to use normal mascara and no lashes because I think this looks really pretty natural. A little more natural, if you will. So I'm just going to curl my lashes now. And this is the finished look. I just, you know, played around with some stuff, trying this wet look. Honestly, I just wanted to try the wet look and see if it looked cool for pictures. So we will find out. And I have hella blush on, hella bronzer, but you know, and I'm digging this hairstyle. Except for the last step we can do is go ahead and pull out our Morphe Continuous Mist, shake this bitch up and bask in it and that's it mm. excuse excuse her <laughs> yeah hope you guys enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up and subscribe um stay tuned if you guys want to see more from me in this quarantine time i'm trying to put up more videos um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope that you're doing well and staying safe um, I'll see you later.